This is the study of geography and these are the branches of geography. Physical geography, human geography and practical geography. These are among the few topics that we look at when we study geography. We look at industrialization, we look at forestry, we look at tea plantations, maize plantations, brick making industry among many many others. One geography lesson one. You're welcome. Welcome to our lesson today. I am Sarah. Today we are going to learn about geography and we are starting with the introduction to geography. We want to understand the study of geography, what it, uh, what it carries. We want to, first of all, we start by dividing the term geography. What is the meaning of the word geography? The word geography is a Greek word that has got two words that were put together. We have the word geo and then we have another word graphia. Geo means the earth and graphia means description. So when these two words are put together, they bring out the meaning description of the earth, to describe the earth. When we use the term describe or description of something, we are looking into the detailed characteristics that comprise of that item that we are describing about. So when we talk about the description of the earth, we really mean looking into the details that make the earth and what it is comprised of. So, when we are describing the earth, geography then means that we are studying, to study, to carry out a study. We are scrutinizing to understand what the earth is about. We want to study the earth and understand where the various uh, resources are available. We want to understand various phenomena and their locations. Now, so we want to define the term geography in some of the divinations, there are various divinations that have been floated. One of them is that geography is the study of the earth as the home of man. But ever since that definition has been improved and therefore today it is defined as the study of the distribution and interrelationship of both natural and human phenomena on the earth service. We are talking about the various phenomena that is found on the earth surface, their distributions where they are found and the interrelationship between these various phenomena. We are talking about both physical and man and human phenomena. And a phenomena is anything that occupies a space. So these things that we are able to see, how are they found there? Where are they found? And what is the relationship with one another? What is the environment? The environment is defined as the external conditions that surround an organism. An organism can either be a plant or it can be an animal and the external conditions that surround that organism is what we call an environment. We also talk about ecology. What is ecology? 
Ecology is also the external surrounding that influences the development and the behavior of specific living organisms. The environment was the external surrounding. There could be some external conditions that may not even have an impact in the behavior of an organism. But the ecology means that these organisms have been affected yes. by the, the external conditions. That is when now we call them the ecology. Another term that we talk about is the habitat. The habitat is the physical home that provides the physical conditions under which certain organisms thrive. And we have different types of environments. We have physical environment and we have the human environment. What is uh, the physical environment about? It is comprised of the natural features. It is comprised of the features that are not brought about by man. Features that occur naturally. So, in this area, we study about the weather, we study about the solar system, we study about, we concern ourselves about the climate, soils, rocks, everything that has been brought about or has been presented to us by nature. Then we look at the human environment. The human environment and comprises itself. It comprises itself with man's activities. All those phenomena that have been caused by man, they are included in the human environment. There are three branches of geography. We have the physical geography. We also have human geography. And we have what we call practical geography. Physical geography. Physical geography deals with the study of the physical features, that is the physical environment. That is what is done or is, cut, is studied in physical geography. So we concern ourselves with the physical environment. We look at the features that were created, that were brought about by nature. So we shall concern ourselves with the solar system. We shall study the weather. We shall study about climate. We shall talk about the rocks. We shall look at uh, the minerals. We shall look at the deserts, arid and ar semi I mean arid landforms. That is the action of water and wind in arid lands. We shall talk about the hydrological circle. We shall deal with lakes, among other topics that we shall concern ourselves under the study of physical geography. Then we look at what we call human geography. And human geography, we shall deal with the human activities. We shall look at the activities that are carried out by man in the earth service. And they include mining, they include forestry, we shall concern ourselves with fishing, we shall concern ourselves with uh, agriculture where we shall talk about 
various crops where they are found, the factors that uh, uh, lead to the uh, practicing of these crops and farming activities. We shall talk about transport, industries, urbanization. We shall talk about all those under human geography. Then we have another branch that is actually there to back up the physical geography and the human geography. It's there to enrich the information that we have studied about under physical geography and under human geography. And this is the practical branch. It is there to enrich what we have studied about the natural features or what we have studied about man's activities. So under this, uh, we learn about or we concern ourselves with carrying out practical lessons, carrying out um, some skills like observations, uh, measuring, and they are done under this branch of geography. So we shall look into going out, carrying out field study, of collecting data. When we, when we collect the data, we come and record it. We come and uh, synthesize that data, and then we present it, and all that is under the branch of physical, I mean practical geography, sorry. So that is uh, what we have studied today about uh, geography, the definition of the term geography, and we have also looked at um, the types of environments where we have seen there are two types of environment. We have um, the uh, physical environment and we also have the human environment. And we have also looked at the branches of geography where we have found out that there are three branches of geography. We have the physical geography, human geography, and the practical geography. And each, we have also tried to look at some of the topics, not exclusive, or the areas where we shall concern ourselves with. We have seen, like, uh, when we shall be talking about the Earth and the solar system, we will be talking about the physical geography. And when we shall be talking about wildlife, tourism, fishing, all man's activities, we shall be talking about the human geography. Now, after that, then we, look, we looked at the practical geography, which we said is concerned about statistics, maps and map work, field work and photograph work. And then we now look at uh, the reasons why we study the, the subject geography in our Kenyan system of education. And we have various reasons that support our study and that is the importance or the significance of studying geography. So we are trying to say that when we study geography, the subject geography is very important in the lives of um, the citizens. It's very important, it's applicable in various fields and therefore uh, it's worthy the input that the government puts in so that uh, the, the learners or the students are well equipped with the knowledge that is found in this uh, subject. The government has bought uh, many books, it has trained teachers, it pays the teachers, it has set up um, uh, learning resources to support the geography, uh, the study of geography. It also supports the field studies that are very expensive to carry out and therefore uh, we are saying that it's not in vain, uh, it's worthy the cost that is uh, um, uh, put there. And therefore we have the various results, we are going to go through each one of them and one of them is that geography is a, a career subject that uh, when uh, uh, an individual 
involves himself in the careful study of geography as a subject and is able to describe the earth as we said, is able to identify the various areas and um, resources and phenomena that we have, reasons why they are found in the various places, uh, one may actually end up becoming uh, carrying out a career that is related to the subject geography. We have uh, various careers. We have uh, uh, education where we have the geography teachers are themselves a product of the geography subject. And so the geography teachers in our secondary schools, we have lecturers in our universities who are uh, teaching this subject. They are actually a product of this uh, wonderful subject of ours. Geography is good because uh, when you study it, you will study about uh, mining, about minerals, you study about the weather. And so when you study about the weather, you end up in um, the Department of Meteorology. You also study about um, rocks. Uh, you will end up carrying out uh, uh, geology as uh, the study of the rocks and their distribution, their chemical compositions, all that is uh, has got its base in our subject here geography so we are saying that uh, a space uh, space education we have uh, the study of the oceans all that if uh, you you uh, concern yourself with the subject uh, it will not frustrate you you will find somewhere where you you land if you are going to learn about um, being a pilot you have to understand about our the atmosphere. In that one, you have to have some information about the behavior of our atmosphere, the behavior of our geographical regions. You have to understand where you are taking off from with your plane or aircraft and where you are going to land. And therefore, geography is a career subject. And we encourage uh, as many uh, candidates as possible to this wonderful subject. We also learn geography because it's a good subject that equips us with various skills. We talked about uh, one branch of geography, the practical branch. And in, under this practical branch, we are able to acquire or obtain uh, skills like observing when we carry out our field study, we become very keen to observe uh, the phenomena that we have gone out to study about. We, uh, we record its various uh, features about the phenomena. And when we come back to class, we are able to analyze that data that we have collected. We interpret it and we present it. All those skills are easily uh, obtained in the subject geography. Geography also helps uh, the learners to understand about the local environment. It also enables them to understand about uh, the positive elements that are found in the areas in which they are found. And when we study about uh, the characteristic features about uh, the local environments, it will eventually enable these learners to appreciate the local environment and even end up uh, contributing positively and um, improving the environment. Also, closely related to that one is that geography enables us to understand about other people's environments. We do not only confine ourselves to the a limited area or of the environment that is surrounding us. We also carry out a wider scope of the environment. We carry out, um, we study about the national uh, phenomena. We also study about the international world, the whole globe as a whole. And therefore, we understand about the uh, environments of other people the positive characteristics about them and we end up admiring them and appreciating them 
and therefore we are talking about geography concerns about itself with the study of the earth and the features that are found there and therefore we want to look at um, the earth so when we talk about the local environment we talk about the international environment we are actually concerned about uh, the whole globe and that is why we are saying we will be able to appreciate the local area where we are found and we also appreciate the areas of other people and all that is uh, given out uh, really information uh, that is found in our study uh, of geography so we we want to say that uh, that is uh, also one of the good things about uh, our study of geography geography as a subject enables us to understand uh, or have international awareness interaction and cooperation when we study about other environments international areas we come to interact with other people and in the meantime as we are learning and interacting with them we'll end up uh, having international awareness and cooperation it's promoted by geography now geography as a subject also is able to promote time management during our field studies when we carry out our field I mean our practical geography sorry we are able to plan ahead of the lesson we we'll, first of all we identify an area I mean we identify the topic of study then we identify the area where we are going to study where we'll get the adequate information and so when we identify the area of study we are able to know the distance from our school and what happens is that now we allocate time we look at the time that we take off from school which is supposed to be uh, some time or about six in the morning according to the government regulations then we know that we are supposed to be back to school by six in the evening so we only have 12 hours to travel and to collect data and for that reason we'll have to allocate the minimum time for each activity if it is traveling we'll have to involve even the, the driver to tell him that we only have one hour on the road or two hours on the road so that he can be able to uh, adjust to the allocated time when we are in the field because we cannot be able to do uh, one area of study in one day we don't have that much time and opportunity it is costly so we involve ourselves with two or three areas of study at the same time so in this case in one single day we may be able to visit two or three places and for that reason what we do we allocate the minimum time for each area and the students or the learners and the teachers have to keep the time and at the end of the day they come to appreciate time management and time keeping so it is all about geography that involves uh, the learners in uh, drawing a schedule and observing the schedule to later now it's also it's also important that we learn geography uh, because it helps us to appreciate uh, the environment and we learn how to conserve it now for future use today we have looked at uh, the definition of the term geography we have also looked at the uh, types of environments ecology habitat we have also talked about the branches of geography where there are three branches of geography we have a physical geography human geography and practical geography and then we have concerned ourselves with the reasons why we study 
the subject geography. And that is uh, the end of our lesson today. I hope you have uh, learned something. In our next episode, we are going to concern ourselves with the relationship between geography and other disciplines, other areas of study. That's what we shall talk about in our next lesson. Thank you. We're very grateful that you found time to watch our content. Kindly press the subscribe button down there and leave a like if the content was helpful to you. Join us in the next lessons. Thank you.